Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today, we're taking you on a tour. It's more of an update tour of our listing at The Ledges. This beautiful six bedroom, six bathroom, 5,414 square foot home that sits on a 0.37 acre lot and backs up directly to the golf course. The views are absolutely incredible and this community is highly coveted. There are very few lots left at The Ledges and this community has 24 hour controlled gate at the front and it sits directly in the middle of the ledges golf course. The views in every direction are absolutely incredible and the location of this particular property, you couldn't find a better lot. This property is offered at 2.1 million and is marketed by Nick and Michonne Rostopchin with Equity Real Estate. So we are the listing agents, folks. Before we dive into the tour of this property, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the value. So I will post two links in the description below this video, one that gives you every option on our current Southern Utah real estate market for properties under 6,000 square feet with a pool. And the other link will include just all the properties between 1.3 to $3 million, just so you could see for yourself exactly what a great value proposition this property really is. It is located in the heart of one of the most coveted, private, fully gated communities with a manned gate at the front at the ledges of St. George. It sits directly on the golf course with no rear neighbors and the views in every direction are just absolutely incredible. So a little bit about this property. It is a six bedroom, six bathroom home. It's 5,414 square feet. It sits on a 0.37 acre lot and it has a three car garage. This property will have a pool completed and we're anticipating completion roughly 60 to 90 days depending on how supplies and labor go. Let's take a little walk around this property and uh, hopefully you could get a pretty good idea of what this property looks like. We went live when we first listed it and a lot has happened. Looks like at this point, we are almost past drywall. So at this stage, you could kind of get a good idea and some of the finishes can still be flexible. I'm not sure on what has and hasn't been ordered yet, but the interior finish selection is going to be very nice. So right now we're inside of the three car garage that takes us into the front. I tried in an earlier take, I tried to walk in through the front door. I didn't work out so well <laughs> with all the scaffolding, but we'll, we'll start our tour right here. So this home will have a massive custom metal front door that will take you out into a little courtyard that gives you a little bit more privacy. So the front of the property has a grand entry with a couple of small windows up above the front entry for some added light. As you enter the property, it opens up to four massive windows facing the incredible views of the golf course. Ceilings throughout this entire property are 12 feet with trays that go beyond that. So the front room has these massive windows that open up to the rear deck. So there's a, uh, there's a small patio, there's a, an upstairs deck that opens to the rear and you have unobstructed views of the golf course. This property has a massive dining room and will have commercial appliances with premium selections throughout. Dining room has another massive window that opens up to the rear and it has access to that rear deck where you can spend an afternoon enjoying the sunset with a nice beverage or a snack. Everything in this home is kind of overbuilt. So the dining opens to a massive butler pantry. And when I say massive, it's not an exaggeration. You can uh, hide some built-in appliances back here and still have plenty of room to store whatever it is that you wish to store in this gourmet butler pantry. This wall features a beautiful modern fireplace. And it's hard to tell right now what things will look like because we're at the drywall stage, but I'm hoping that this walkthrough kind of gives you a better idea of the layout versus the MLS photos and the design plans that we had uploaded so far. From the front entry as we go into the right wing of the house, it takes us to a massive laundry room. Take a look at this laundry room. It could easily be a bedroom. This home will feature an option for you to select if you want a gas 
or an electric dryer. We'll have plenty of room for counters that will go all around and it will have a sink right here by the window. Directly across from the laundry room, we have a powder that could be easily a guest bath that's accessible from the front of this home. And this entry will lock away and this is an attached casita or guest suite for this home that will feature a full bath. It will have a kitchenette with a private entry that opens into the front courtyard. And it will also have a full-size closet. The ceilings in this room are also extra tall and every doorway features an eight foot door making everything feel a lot more grand. Sorry, everything still looks a little messy because we're actively in the middle of construction right now. So as we go to the north wing of this home, this is probably one of my, this is probably one of my favorite parts, most favorite this parts about this home is the owner's suite. It's really large and features tall tray ceilings and it has a window that opens to the back to a very private golf course with incredible rear views. And it's a little hard to see it through this film, but um, I will show it to you what that looks like through some of the drone footage that we captured for this video. Master suite also opens to the rear deck so it can be accessed from here. Might be able to pull that out. And this will actually give you a pretty good idea of the views from the rear deck. That's incredible. What do you think, Michonne? I think it's absolutely beautiful. Like, remember we're in the middle of winter, things aren't as green, but you know, as spring rolls around, these, these views are absolutely beautiful. This video is being shot on January 17th, and it is a mild 54 degree afternoon. There's some people golfing in the distance and it's really super quiet and peaceful out here. But let's take a look at one of the most exciting parts of this home, the owner's suite, the owner's bath and closet are absolutely on another level. And when I was talking about the comps earlier in this video, I think you would be hard pressed to find something that is built to be as usable and as chic as this home. So the master bath is absolutely massive. It will have a standalone tub, dual sink and vanity, and a massive walk-in shower. And by modern standards, it's about the right size that you would want it to be. But the master dressing right across here is easily the size of someone's garage bay. Like I would, I, I like to compare things to my first apartment in Chicago, but this is not even an apartment. This is like, literally this could have been a garage bay. Just take a look at the size of this room. It is absolutely massive. It will comfortably accommodate all of your suits, a massive shoe collection, tie collection, whatever it is that you're into. I think it will give you plenty of room to store it here. And if it doesn't fit, you probably don't need it. So this concludes the tour of the first floor. This property is by level. It has a daylight walkout basement that opens up to the golf course. Careful, don't trip over that cord. The staircase takes us down to a second living room, uh, which would be perfect when you're using the pool during the summer months because this massive slider will take you right out to your backyard. And with this lot being a 0.37 acre lot, the backyard is actually really large. Considering the standard lot size in this community, this is actually quite rare. So from here, we have another massive bedroom and this was actually originally set up as an office. It can be used as a bedroom and it has an ensuite. It has an ensuite, but this room doesn't actually have a closet. So originally this room was intended as an office with an ensuite. And this window, of course, opens up to the rear of the property. Unfortunately, you can't capture the views right now because of the plastic that is still in the windows, but trust me, it is beautiful. 
Here we have a second laundry room. That's also really generous in size. Look out for the buckets. And just down this hallway, we have another full bath and another bedroom. I don't know how much of this footage is actually tolerable to watch because I'm sure everything looks about white and the same, but just take my word for it. You will see some really fine design elements and we'll update you guys with another video Drop us in the comments below if you'd like to see how this build progresses from here because usually at this stage things will start happening really rapidly and it will really transform into a luxury property from its current stage. So this bedroom also has a large walk-in closet. And this room may be a little bit more problematic to see because it's probably getting about pitch black by now, but right under the casita, we're technically under the casita right uh, now, right? Yeah. So right under the casita, we have a massive home theater room. So this room will be built just back to accommodate home theater equipment and have some additional soundproofing. Yeah, it might be hard to see, but we'll give it a try. Uh, there's no sense of ghost hunting type footage. <laughs> this side of the home has, what do we have here? Here we have a utility closet, an under stairs closet, Here we have a water heater slash furnace room, which is really nice to have it downstairs because you never know when a disaster might strike and if anything happens to your equipment, it can't really flood much other than the room that it's in. Here we have another downstairs suite with a Jack and Jill full bath with, there's a vanity here and a vanity here joining this Jack and Jill with a full bath. And here we have our last rear bedroom that is attached to that Jack and Jill. Maybe we could just end this video here and include some drone footage for you guys to enjoy. Please let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns about this video. If you would like to schedule a time to see a personal tour of this property, if you'd like to make an offer, or if you have an agent that would like to get in contact with me, all of our contact information is in the description below this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you know somebody that is in the market, for a home of this caliber, please share that video with them. If you enjoyed what you saw, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Peace.